Hi, my name is Matt Simmons and I live at 2245 West Wind Way. What I'm going to be talking to you about today is probably the most important thing that we could be that we could discuss and that is millions of dollars of lost property value in Promontory Crest. This isn't something that's just affecting one or two houses. This is affecting everybody in the community. What's happening is all of the homes that are adjacent to Dawson Avenue are having their views majorly blocked. So this is about 10% of the homes in Promontory Crest. And you may say to yourself, well, I don't live near Dawson Avenue. This doesn't affect me. Well, it does. Because if the homes on Dawson Avenue, which had premium views, sell for less money because they no longer have their views anymore, then guess what? The homes that don't have the views are going to sell for even less money. All of the homes in Promontory Crest are boats in the same harbor. We all go up in value together, and we all go down in value together. Let's take a look at what the views used to look like. Right over here, you could see the park view from one of the balconies along Dawson Avenue. And you could see the park, you could see the city. There's 180 degree of, hundred of uninterrupted views. It was beautiful. Get, here's what the same picture, or at least the same angle, looks like today. You can't even see the park much less the city views. You can't even see the parking lot. And so what used to be an amazing view is no longer there. The person who paid for this view right here would no longer pay the same amount because this is what the view looks like today. So again, if these homes sell for less money, all of the other homes are gonna sell for less money too. Over here, you could see that all of the views it, from inside the homes along on the first floor have been majorly impacted. In fact, in my home, you can't see anything except for trees from all of the windows. The developers for these homes designed them with views in mind. Typically, from the first floor, from the kitchen, from the dining room, from the living room, you could see this normally what would be an amazing view of the city and the park. Well, now it's an amazing view of just trees. So the views are completely gone. And again, the people who pay top dollar to have views through their living area and from their balconies and from their backyard are no longer gonna pay top dollar if the views are not there. Let's take a look at what used to be the ocean view. Here it is. Right now, it's just covered with trees. For this view used to be amazing. From the backyard, you used to be able to see the spruce goose, the Queen Mary, the Harbor Lights, the ocean, Catalina, uh, the bridge. Just, it was, it was incredible. And now, take a look at what it looks like. This is a big problem. If these view homes sell today, they're gonna be selling without the views that they once had. And if, and if that sells for less, then your home is gonna sell for less too. Now, let's take a look at a postcard that one of the top agents in Signal Hill recently sent out. This is a recent postcard. Guess what's kind of funny about this postcard? The picture he's using is several years old. That's not what the park looks like today. From, from, the, from years ago, you used to be able to see the houses. Used to, and, and this was the bill of goods that we purchased. We purchased these homes because of these views. And now, let's take a look at what it looks like today from the same angle. You can't, see, you can't even see the houses from the park. They're covered by trees. And if you can't see the houses from the park, that also means you can't see the park from the houses, much less the beautiful city from the houses as well. So if we purchase this bill of goods without the trees there, and now they're there, that's just wrong. The views were there when the homes were purchased, and the views are no longer there today. This is an important issue that lowers the values of the homes along Dawson Avenue by hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's just a matter of time till one of those homes sells. And when it does, if the views are still blocked, it's not gonna sell for what it should sell for. And that will negatively impact all of Promontory Crest. This is not a six home problem. This is a 96 home problem. There are 96 homes in Promontory Crest. And I'm hoping that everybody in Promontory Crest could make it to the city hall meeting at the council chamber on November 4th at 6 p.m. They're gonna be having an open forum with the Parks and Recreation Department. 
so all the homeowners could have an opportunity to speak up and let the city know how important this issue is to you. I personally spoke with Ken Farfsing, the city manager of Signal Hill, and he personally told me, Matt, this is not an individual issue. We have to take into account all perspectives, meaning they can't just take into account the individual homeowners who live adjacent to Dawson Avenue. They have to take into account all the perspectives, even the people who visit the park. If we could show them unity, and we could show them that there are a whole bunch of homeowners who all pay our hard-earned tax dollars in Promontory Crest, and, and everybody in Promontory Crest wants to protect these views, and we all have vested interest to protect these views, then guess what? We have a better chance of having the city resolve this issue in a positive way that